Hi, this tutorial is about mapping the Ableton layout with the keyboard, your computer keyboard. We'll get started by hitting the key. Select. As you can see, it turns this nice little green color. Today we're going to do scenes and tracks. So we'll get started with scene number six. Click on it. And then we're going to hit number one on the keyboard. Go down to seven. Hit number two. Three. Four. Oops. I hit the number four instead of the number five, and this is what happens. You get this message that tells you you've messed up or it thinks you want to change that. We're going to say no. We don't want to change it unless you do. You can change it if you want. We're going to say no. We're going to back, go back to this, and we're going to hit the five key instead, and continue. Okay, I'll stop with that since we're covering our scenes that we're going to play. Now the reason I started scene 6 is I've got an APC40, which you can tell by this little blue line here, and I can control the scenes and the tracks with the APC40. This is my way of extending the control of the APC40, uh, getting around with their navigation system is a little bit tedious and when you're trying to perform or jam or something, it's it's too slow to deal with. So this is a, an alternative. So let's do some tracks. We'll start with track 9. And I'll go ahead and start at the Q key, which is my next row of keys. I'll go over to the W key, the E key, R key, and that takes care of what I want to do with this section. You can map these things however you want for your particular usage, but this is the technique of how you do it. Now, if you look over here, you'll see the key assignments, which keys you hit, what they're controlling, and the type of event they're controlling, which is tracks and scenes and so on. Okay, so to end this process, we'll hit the key again. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the key number one. And it automatically plays based on the quantization time that you've got set. Mine is set at one bar. If you had that set to a quarter note, it'd be really quick. But when I'm doing a mix, I leave it at one bar so I don't mess things up. When I'm performing, I set it to a quarter. That way it's a lot quicker. So we'll hit the number two key. As you can see, it's pretty immediate. We don't want to hit three because that's a blank one. We'll go to four. And back to our starting position of mellow talking through things, but got to have some kind of tunes. This is music after all. So that's pretty much it. You can, there are limitations to the keyboard though, I'll tell you that. Now you can use all of the uh, QWERTY keyboards, uh, keys, as well as the um, comma, period, and slash. Uh, none, of the, none of these other keys in here will work for this purpose. You can't use these numeric keys in here. You can use these rows of keys here as well. You cannot use this very top and outside. 
So as you can see, there are those limitations. But uh, it sure does help to get around a lot quicker when you're trying to jam. Ciao.